Good day, Metro Vegan. This week we will be talking to Abigenio, who is a native of San Julian Norte Vegan City. Our Abigenio obtained his doctoral degree of arts in educational management in the University of Luzon, Tagupan City, as Bene Meritus. Currently working on his dissertation for his doctoral in philosophy in educational management in University of Bohol. This Bigenio has been recognized and awarded in different levels in his field and recently he was awarded as the Outstanding Filipino Researcher of 2014. Ladies and gentlemen, let us all welcome Dr. Ruel Palo Anikas. Hello, Pa. Hello, Ma'am. It's nice to meet you, sir. Nako, I've heard so much about you and nakakaloka na loka ako sa iyong uh, profile data. So, uh, nako, please tell us more about yourself. Who is Dr. Ruel Palo Anikas? Um, once again, good morning, Mom. I would like to take this opportune moment of giving me the chance mm -hmm. to be uh, aired in TV Fican. I'm Once again, I'm Dr. Ruel Palo Anikas, Shakti Anak, nga inunaan ni Mr. Manuel Kenrosa Anikas in San Julian, North Vegan City. You're 35 years old, right? And you've achieved so much. Um, al alam niyo po si Sir Bona sa field of education. Pero bago pa man tayo pumunta doon, sino po ang nag-influence sa inyo na, na mapunta sa ganitong career or field? Um, honestly, ma'am, uh, when I was in elementary, iti met plano tayo to become a priest. Oh, yes. okay. But unfortunately, gabot na may may saak lang uh, anak na lalaki. Mm -hmm. my, my grandmother, mm -hmm. iti father side ko, she objected na agpadi mm -hmm. agpong ay tamay may saak anak. Then, when I was in high school, that's the, the that's the time where in I was challenged by one of my former English teacher in the fourth year na, uh, none other than Miss Clarita Patti. Then because of her, Jiman nga talaga nga na challenge na ka, ah, I'm uh, masapun ng mga alak education and ag ab English na kasi. Bakit ano bang challenge ito? Sorry. No, actually, there are some occasions where in um, the, the usual thing na uh, class recitation, pero every time na uh, okay ka na naka-reject nga, nga, okay, sit down, Ruel. Uh, wrong pronunciation, nagtangkent diction mo, ganito, ganyan, ganyan. So, that's the real reason why I took up AB English. Then, not knowing, kumukuha pa ako ng AB Literature and Secondary Education, ma'am. Mm -hmm. So, after three and a half years, mm -hmm. natapos ko rin yung mga courses na yun at the same time in University of Baguio. Grabe, ang dami-dami mo na talagang awards. Of you've been a speaker also in different universities or in different, you know, occasions. But, what made you decide to finally leave the Philippines? Um, actually, I was given the chance by 2009. Mm -hmm. Nag-upload ako lang iti resume ko in workabroad.com. Okay. Then, that was Wednesday. Then, Friday, ma'am, kit adamit din tawag kanya from agency G Manila nga. They are in need of English teachers pero bound to Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. So, when Jack may nag-kid-kid, mm -hmm. nagpamanila ako nga dagos-dagos and I tried uh, to be interviewed, na ipasakmit din. Tapos, by December, kit, adamit chance tayo nga na pa ito sa Saudi Arabia. So, wala po kayong hesitation going to Saudi? Siyempre, we have this notion na, naku, nakakatakot sa Saudi and all that. Uh, actually, honestly, at the mom na talaga, kasi lalo din siya uh, madamdamag na stone to death, nung no, makaaramid ka itimadi. Yeah. But since former Saudi worker met ni father ko, mm -hmm. kit na pintas met iti uh, let's say, nagbanagan ako ng mga life experiences na. So, there's no hesitation talaga nga trinay ko tinapanag sa Uli. Okay, so how long have you been teaching? Ha, ano, ilang years na ba ito? No, actually, I'm not teaching in Saudi Ay, sorry, in, yeah. okay. Yes, mm -hmm. pero although iti first nga appointment ko, I was hired as an English teacher, mm -hmm. pero nagisuro ako lang iti talo nga bulan. Mm -hmm. Then right after, nakita da siguro dya administrative potential tayo, mm -hmm. so I was given the position as school registrar. Mm -hmm. Then, naging ISO management representative na kon. Mm -hmm. So, I'm handling more on the activities of the institute. Mm -hmm. 
then hanggang sa naging academic coordinator, then promoted as academic manager. And ngayon, yun na yung... Yun yes, na yung, that's the latest position. Na equivalent siya sa... Um, Vice President for Academic Affairs dito yung Pilipinas. O, oh, diba? Napakataas nung position na yun. Nakakaloka. Pero, nako sir, eto po. Um, ano ba ang tingin yung secret kung paano tayo nakakaatin ng ganong success? Simula sa pool kasi I am the uh, I'm a determined individual and let's say goal oriented ang gamit mo. Mm -hmm. Na isa ka to para tayo naging author ng iti libro din at the same time nalpas ko na iti doctoral. Mm -hmm. And this books are being published. Actually, J first ng libro kaya din dahil lang Pilipinas it was published by Mocha Publishing House in Valenzuela. Mm -hmm. At damit ko author ko uh, nang dumadu mga teachers where in it is being utilized by uh, private higher education institutions mm -hmm. in Pilipinas. Wow! Anong feeling na parang in, uh, in, at a very young age, you've achieved so many already? Oh, uh, at the GG take na iti uh, talagang maragsakan na kami because at an early age, I, I accomplished kung natin man lang yan. Then, uh, nagtultuloy din yung agakat tayo. Then at the same time, pati di Saudi Arabia, I was even recognized mm -hmm. kasi way back February 10, 2010, Um, I can say that um, into record kaya talaga nga nalusot ako ni TJ uh, pinagaramit ko yung libro mm -hmm. based with the Saudi Council uh, syllabus. Then, a copy of it, ma'am, kaya ang dami ni TJ King Fahad National Library mm -hmm. Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Nakaka-proud. Uh, can I just ask you one question? What do you think is your most uh, or the greatest trial in your career that you have faced? Um, like for example, sa akin, ang kinoconsider ko kasi na one of my trial mm -hmm. uh, in my career is kasi I was aiming to be part and parcel of uh, the educational system that I come up vegan. Mm -hmm. it, Department of Education din ate kasi nga taga nga taga vegan tayo but uh, I was not given the chance pero despite in spite of naging thankful pa rin ako kasi uh, siguro no nakastrike ako to vegan deaf and vegan ang commit nga uh, nakamit it uh, citations recognitions and awards that I'm gaining right now mom Bilang bigenyo, how does it feel to be awarded internationally? You know, being recognized internationally. Kas may sa mga bigenyo, anyamet ti Marik Nam Sir. Tapos ang dami-dami mo pang naachieve. Tapos nandun pa sa Saudi pa. Actually, mom, ever since naman is talaga nga I'm very proud, proud na proud na kami bigenyo. Then the guy nang sabi ko I'm always supporting naman mga programs ng city natin, lalo lalo na yon for the New Seven uh, yes, Wonders. Seven Wonder Cities uh -huh. in the world. So, despite in spite of I'm serving in Saudi Arabia, by promoting our city itself is a manifestation that that's one a way of being a proud Pigenyon, ma'am. Mm -hmm. And despite in spite of I'm representing Saudi Arabia at the international conferences, tayo, adalat amit DJ, ibagatay lang tanga dugong Pigenyo kasi ay taga vegan na. Actually, I'm from vegan. Madama ako lang nag-work ni Saudi Arabia. But, uh, andun pa rin yung pagka-vegan talaga. Tsaka kahit na rin represent mo yung Saudi, nandun pa rin yung bigyan niyo ako Filipino ako. Yes, ma'am. Uh, lagi ko rin naman sinasabi na uh, by heart and by soul, I'm a Filipino. Paano pag kunwari rin yung represent mo, kunwari yung Saudi, kunwari nasa convention ka or whatever, how do you feel? Yes. Uh, um, kasi mab life for example no adam alam na award no tapos no introduce da ka lalo lalo na pag plenary speaker ka di skwela um din at the same time Saudi Arabia but adu tag 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 kasi there is some occasions as well nga I'm wearing the national costume of Saudi Arabia ah really okay then lalo lalo na pag nag ako yung master of ceremony but hanggang doon lang pero despite of proud Filipino pa rin. Yun, wow. What do you think is the best trait of an educator para maging effective siya sa kanyang career? Uh, actually, ma'am, uh, kanya kit, I was guided with the personal traits as with the acronym teacher. Okay. Yes. Teacher were in, a teacher should be talented, then enthusiastic, against dishonesty, 
uh, courageous, marami kasi sa letter C, eh. courageous, caring, committed, then for H is humanitarian, then for letter E is at least energetic, mm -hmm. then R is responsible, respectful. Mm -hmm. Yes, and as a role model. So I'm guided with that personal traits, mm -hmm. being a teacher, with that acronym teacher. No? Nako, sir, if you are not a teacher, tingin nyo po, ano pong nasang field kayo ngayon? If I'm not a teacher right now, nasa media ako for media. sure. Yes, because uh, before teaching, kasi as nag-work tayo, napadasan tayo with it, it print media, JT make the Amianen, and naging part-time and parcel to broadcast media. Kasi I'm one of the pioneer of uh, NBN for Vegan, Jika Pitolio. Ah, okay, wow! Ayun pala! Nako, sir, bakit research? Yun nga ang gusto kong tanongin. Kasi parang, di ba, yung research usually, lalo na yung mga sujante, parang, or teachers also, parang naku, naku, tamad mag-research. Pero ikaw, you've been awarded with so many sa field na yan. And recently nga, yung, um, what is that? Yung outstanding researcher ng Saudi Arabia, tama po ba? O yun, bakit po sa field na yun? Actually, ma'am, uray no po natin yung narigat iti ag-research. Okay, kasi ag-sukisok kami data eh. Um, point out mo dito problem, then solusyaw na met lang dito yung problem. At the end of the day, kasi nung nalpas mo di research mo, lalong-lalo na if you have the output na ko natin yung the result or uh, result na dito yung research mo. Kaya may isang uh, makatulong gamin, makatulong iti. Not only academic, okay, but intellectually, socially. Dito yung metin tiag balin nga kasila kung ma- uh, Consolation tayo. So para sa inyo po, ano yung research na ginawa nyo po na yun yung parang pinaka wow? Uh, actually ma'am, naging ano na ako, naging multidisciplinary researcher na ako. Hindi na lang ako nag-focus sa uh, on my own field of specialization nga, English uh, and literature, kundi napadasak pa yun iti ag-research, nag-conduct the research iti about pertaining to religion. Like for example, wherein I presented uh, in the Asian Conference di Pasay in the last year, where in Nangabak Pai DJ as a Diamond Award first prize, it tells something about the miracles of Our Lady of Manawag, testimonies of the devotees. Another uh, research by KJ, work motivation and organizational commitments of Saudi teachers in compare ko in, in compare ko iti Bohol teachers. And damit G recently nga research ko nga in in present ko ije kagayan di oro last week lang July 17 where in nagplenary speaker tayo ulit it's the development of a work text module in English so they did na publish in Saudi Arabia so I presented to public then other researches um, on social sciences education English and literature and religion mm, religion so sir ito po uh, being awarded nationally and internationally. If given the chance, gusto niyo po bang bumalik sa Pilipinas? Uh, yes, ma'am. 100% ko na tayo din that. Kasi at damit lang tayo, Jay, it is better to serve okay, our native land. Ipaay tayo, met. Okay, i-share tayo, met. Like the expertise tayo ng nangroon iti field of research kung madito yung Pilipinas if given the chance. Okay. So, sir, last message po. Um, do you have any message for the um, for your fellow educators po na nanonood po sa atin ngayon, lalong-lalo na dun sa mga nagsisimula pa lamang. Para sa akin kasi is uh, naging passion ko na and part of my profession as well iti research. So, I'm encouraging all teachers na uri no saan na kung mga iso na iti research coordinator or research director. They have to conduct research kasi whatever the output or the innovations, it is very meaningful. And at the same time, para kadagiti agtutubong agbibuyat at na kaya't kung manmit nga ipaay nga kas uh, pamagbaga that uh, achievements dahil tigamin mit pagbatbatayan tayo nga achievements comes only uh, only to those who are not afraid and to those who have guests and the ter determination to face challenges and always first port reach out and soar high so, ito, additional message po. Sir, magbigay po tayo ng message sa yung family or whatever na, na gusto nyo pong, ano, sa friends nyo or family. Um, okay, uh, alayat madating yung gandaway. Uh, 
Yeb Cassidy panagyaman ko with the ever supportive for the unwavering and undaunted support of my family nang nangroon na rin parents ko ni papang ko and, and mother ko nga iso na iti uh, nag-work together just to may paimit kanya iti uh, college education ko ken kastamit ka iti kapsat ko ken friends and relatives nga uh, ang damit lahat ng uh, sumubsubaybay ken kadag iti amin nga at the panagtalik iti kakayahan tayo Okay, so thank you so much, sir, well, you for much. your time. Maraming maraming salamat po. I'm very honored to um, have this interview with you. Maraming maraming salamat po. Uh, likewise, ma'am, dito ko lang ipaayaw kanya kanya na gundaway ng uh, maipabuyan tumititi TV vegan. <laughs> It's a great chance. Okay, kasi talaga amit niya. Uh, I'm a proud vegan. You can taga vegan na ka talaga. Ayan. Yeah. Oh, ayan po. <laughs> So next week, abangan nyo po ulit kung sinong bigyan nyo na naman ang aming teacher dito lang po yan sa Vegan Live. Siya ni Dr. Ruel Palo Anikas, Outstanding Filipino Researcher of 2014. Proud to be bigyan nyo.